we continue glorifying Mahaprabhu. Last time we glorified Mahaprabhu. How is this? This, you know, this um, Madhurya Kadambini. I have feelings that you lead us to Gadadhar. Yeah? We because we're talking about Shakti, you know, Mah Gadadhar is Gadadhar Pandit. He is the like Radharani herself. Hmm? But we have to understand in Mahaprabhu Lila, uh, Krishna Shakti is uh, like like Gadadhar Pandit. He is not posing himself like as someone like very prominent, you know, because Krishna he wants he is taking this form as a devotee. Now, uh, Gadadhar himself, he is showing the example how to assist Mahaprabhu, you know, like providing assistance to Mahaprabhu as the devotee. In our, like, uh, Pranamantra for the Panchatattva, what is the Pranamantra for Panchatattva? Panchatattva Makam Krishna, Bhakta Rupa Swarupakam, Bhakta Avataram Bhakta Kyam, Namami Bhakta Shakti. Okay, look, again, there is Rup and Swarup. Hmm? When you say Panchat Panchatatvat Makam Krishna, Krishna, he has come in five features. Hmm? Uh, Bhakta Rup, Bhakta Swarup, Bhakta Avatar, Bhakta Shakti, and Bhakta. Bhakta Rup is who? And Bhakta Swarup is? Sure. Bak Gadadhar is Bak is Bakta Shakti. So Bakta Swarup is Nijananda. Okay, now what is the difference? Why is Mahaprabhu Bakta Rup and Lord Nijananda Bakta Swarup? Hmm. Nijananda is like manifesting like it's because Mahaprabhu is the uh, main person there. He's Look. Okay. In the previous class, I was just talking about like uh, rup and swarup. You know, like how they're different. Rup is like the form, right? Now, now, Mahaprabhu, he has taken now the form of a devotee. So that's why it's bhakta rup. But you know what? His swarup is not devotee. He's actually enjoyer. He's very swarup. He's enjoyer. Even that he's taking as the root of the devotee is there to enjoy. You know, he's still in that mood of enjoyment. That is not the very swarup of the devotee. The devotee is like, oh, he, he serves and he fulfills enjoyment to the beloved or the, the master, right? You understand? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so Mahaprabhu, he's just by root a devotee. Mm -hmm. But yeah. even that, like, he's taking that form as a devotee, that is for his enjoyment, really. You know that why he's taking the 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 mood of Radharani because he wants to enjoy that. You know he's the supreme enjoyer. Hmm? So now the Swarup, Bhakta Swarup. Why is Lord Chandra Bhakta Swarup? Because we know the very first manifestation of Krishna is who? It's Baladev. Baladev is Krishna himself, none different. But actually there's some difference. And what's the difference? Their mood. His his Vishnu Tattva is God Himself also Baladev, but He is God Himself, but He's there to provide service to Krishna, so so that His pastimes can happen. So that's why He manifests the whole existence. Hmm? He manifests the Dham. He manifests the different associates. Oh. So like all His Krishna's ornaments, that's all provided by Baladev, and not just. Okay, we know Braj is the original place, right? Mm -hmm. But still, oh, he's providing the other, the other, uh, the other manifestations also. He's the root of all the other manifestations. So, like, in, like in the first chapter of Viva in Dwarka Mathura, that's all coming from Baladev. Mm. Okay, then, <clears throat> okay, we're not proceed so much that because I know later on it will be, it will be there also in in Harinam Chandamani. Mm -hmm. But okay, so his his very form is. Or his very swarup is like bhakta, service, yeah, serving, mm. and that's why he's uh, he's the Kanda Guru Tattva, because he's the original Guru. Mm. Because now he he's serving, he's he's Krishna himself, but 
as Baladev, he's showing how to serve. Okay, so then Bhakta Avatar is Advaita Acharya. Because, okay, he's a supreme person, but really he is Mahavishnu. Uh, Mahavishnu is the Purusha Avatar, he's the original Avatar. Uh, like all, actu actually, all the other Avatars, when you say Avatar, you're talking about. Yeah, manifestations of God who related to the material world. The very existence of avatar is uh, related to the material world. Hmm. So, okay, like like Narayan, he's not avatar. He's in in Vaikuntha. Hmm. But those that come to this world, they're avatar. Hmm. But this is the, what the thing. Mahaprabhu, we we're not, we're telling he's not avatar. He's avatari. He's a source. He's Krishna himself. Okay. Avatar, then Bhakta Shakti, that's Gadadhar, because he is the original Shakti, uh, and he is, uh, he is that form of, uh, now as a Bhakta, and then all the Bhaktas, uh, headed by Srivas, so all the Bhaktas, Bhakta, uh, Srivas Adi, Gaur Bhakta Vrindam, that is, that's the fifth of the Panchatattva, okay, so, now, uh, <clears throat> So when when we talk of like Mahaprabhu, he's coming to this world uh, to fully experience look Radharani's experiences. So when we say uh, experiencing Radharani's experience, meaning experience of Radharani, like how she's experiencing, like in Vraj, hmm? and also how she's experiencing when like oh, Krishna manifests Lila's in this world hmm, where there's like an actual like separation you know uh, of like when Krishna comes to this world then really there's all this like separation pastimes hmm. so that itself is that particular like direct separation like uh, uh, like Radharani in Udav Kari uh, suffering separation from Krishna hmm, uh, that's not directly in in eternal Vrindavan mm. so that also Mahaprabhu wants to relish mm. so all these moods now she's relishing here in, in this world like in Jagannath Puri mm. so but at the same time while experiencing this Mahaprabhu wants to teach to the world uh, what is the love of this of the bridge buses, especially the love of the gopis mm. he wants to to show he wants to glorify to the world really like Radharani and 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 they will understand uh, and then taste this this bhakti rasa taste this because that is real the real like the real like happiness the highest happiness understand so by his sankirtan movement this is what Mahaprabhu is distributing uh, this his prime nam sankirtan understand so this is like the speciality of this is the speciality of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay, so now, when um, at least we have this understanding, then we can appreciate, you know, like uh, some, some phrases there. And when we hear about in this Harinam Chantamani, then uh, this r relation to Mahaprabhu is more uh, like, like a, some more feeling is there. Understand? So, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, we said, oh, he is Gora Shakti Swarup. Gora Shakti Swarupaya. Rupa Nuga Bharati. He is the very manifestation of Gora Shakti. So, now, you, you may say, oh, Gora Shakti is, is Radharani. Uh, Gora Shakti is um, Gadadhar Pandit. And now, she's not anymore here. But, but that Swarup actually is continuing. You may say, oh, you say, oh, Mahaprabhu Lila is so nice. But oh, I'm, I'm so unfortunate, I missed that. Hmm? During that time when, oh, the, now in Mahaprabhu Lila, his Shakti is like, like fully like, you know, autonomous and, and conquering everywhere. We have to understand, this is happening up to now. Hmm. Mahaprabhu Shakti is, you know, like flowing and conquering everywhere. And if you look, if you compare even now to the time of Mahaprabhu, look, who's like, um, who's, you know, like, 
what is the condition now and condition at the time of Mahaprabhu? Uh, which is more, shall we say, like more favorable, like more magnanimous? Hmm? During the time of Mahaprabhu, like th does his, his th Sankirtan movement reach America? Or like, or you know, what? Hmm. This is very twisted, you know. Uh -huh. Very twisted. Uh, in, rea in relation to uh, us, yes, of say course. The waves of the mercy are spreading farther and it's, farther. It's going on. In Mahabharata's time, it was such a powerful, uh, like, Shakti. So much, mer so much condensed mercy. And like a nuclear explosion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mercy is spreading out farther and wider. And Through wider. time and space, of course. I mean, but the thing is, like, uh, you may think, like, oh, now, oh, Mahabharata is gone, and it's not. Actually, that's why... Bhaktivinoda Thakur is there and he's showing to us that no, it's going on right now. You can be a part of Mahaprabhu Sankirtan movement. Right? Like this is this is our Bhagavad Guru Parampara, he's showing to us. And and really look, from the time of Mahaprabhu, there was like no Ujwala Nilamani, Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu, right? Like not all these writings of Vishwanath Shakarat Thakur. Um, there are all these associates of Mahaprabhu, of course they're the eternal associates of Mahaprabhu. But for the ordinary jivas, we have to understand, like, okay, Mahaprabhu is there and making, you know, them, like, experience all this uh, thing, uh, like, uh, happiness of Sankirtan. But, like, um, as far as, like, compare it now, they're... <laughs> Look, at the time of Mahaprabhu, no one even knows, I, I've said this before, no one even knows the glories of Vrindavan. And, uh, no, one, no one's talking about Radha Krishna. Hmm? Yes, at the time of Mahaprabhu, like here in, in Vrindavan. Hmm? Oh, yeah. So there's, that, there's this group of Mahaprabhu, like all his associates, they're the ones. Hmm? But, but, yeah, but as far as like for the ordinary jivas, uh, only when they meet Mahaprabhu, okay, they're, they're done. Hmm? But Mahaprabhu wants this, like, you know, like, everyone to, to enter, to enter into this, these things. So, how he's doing that, and I've mentioned this before, through our Goswamis, our Goswamis has systematically provide, like, like, everything that's needed to, to be able to accept this, this gift of Mahaprabhu. And, and now it's carried, it's, it's carried through. By our Bhagavad Guru Parampara. Hmm? So when we say uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he's Gora Shakti Swarup. He's the very manifestation of Gora's Karunya Shakti that's like flowing hmm, and making this like flow of this Bhakti and conquering everyone. Imagine if not for Bhaktivinoda Thakur, how will we know all this, these things? No? Hmm. So in the introduction of his Harinam Chintamani, he was telling that. Uh, by Haridas Thakur, Mahaprabhu is, is giving teachings on Harinam. Hmm? Mahaprabhu himself, he's calling Haridas as the Namacharya. So, why is that? Because not only his teaching, but he himself is showing the example of his teaching, right? He's doing prachar and he's doing the achar. Achar means by his behavior, by his conduct. Right? He's doing his preaching also. Understand? So, Haridas was not just like sitting on, only chanting. We know he's going with Advaita Acharya, he's going with Lord Nityananda, and he was teaching, and he's going here and there. Hmm? And he said, and Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he said, like, all over so many places, they have learned from Haridas Thakur all this Siddhanta on, uh, and all the glories of Nam. And all these pure devotees, they have, write, they have written some books. And they're putting the name of their Gurudev, like that. But they actually learned this from, from Haridas Thakur. Mm -hmm. So, he said that, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he was saying that um, Vaishnavas have like, um, like expressed their desire. They have ordered me to, to, to write a book on like Harinam. So he said, he actually found um, 32 manuscripts and which which is actually like there were 16 titles of 32 manuscripts he found like from here and there 
And he said, like, he could understand this is directly from Haridas Thakur. Hmm? So he said, Haridam Shantamani is actually like a compilation from all these things that he had found. And, and this is, you know, like, in, re, in reply to the request of those devotees. Yeah? And they're, like, they're very happy. Hmm? So he's written this Haridam Shantamani from that. Hmm? So, but it's all coming from Haridas Thakur. So, um, next meeting, we'll try to glorify Haridas Thakur. And, yeah, by this, we're trying to do this so at least we have some understanding, like some common like understanding of the, these personalities. And then later on, when we talk about, then, you know, like when, when you know your father, when you hear your father speak, then there's so much effect to you, right? Not just like someone, like random person telling you to do like this. It's like not so much like feeling, no. But when you know the glory of that person speaking, then so much effect to you. So that's why, oh, at least we have to have common understanding. Who is Mahaprabhu? Uh, who is the author of this Bhakti Vinod Thakur? Late, um, later on tomorrow, or not tomorrow, um, next meeting, um, Haridas Thakur. So, so today we just try to glorify Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Mahaprabhu, he is uh, one thing. Gorshakti Swarupaya, Rupanuga variety. R Rupanuga variety meaning he is the foremost Rupanuga. And I already mentioned this last time. Uh, like, that's the very Swarup of Gorshakti hmm, is Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And when you talk about, like, when you say the very Swarup of Gorshakti, meaning this Karunya Shakti that's spreading this. Who is really like you know, the main, the main personalities of this? Like we know, like Radharani, Radharani are none different from his Manjaris. Uh, like the Manjaris and Radha, the uh, Manjaris, they're they're actually the they're the the servants of Radha. Hmm? If who is serving Krishna the highest, we know is Radharani, and the highest service to you know like of all the uh, associates. The, the one who's serving highest for Radha and Krishna, we know the Manjaris. Are, yeah, they have entranced all these like, uh, very intimate pastimes. And they're the only ones who can serve. So when Krishna, he comes to this world, who is actually fulfilling his foremost desire? Oh, okay, there is Gadadhar Pandit, that's Radharani herself. But who else? Right, who else? He's like the Manjaris, and in the form of our Guru Varga. Hmm? So like Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is... Like one of these manjaris. Of course, we know the head of this manjari is Rupa Goswami. Well, that's Rupa Manjari. No, in Mahaprabhu, he's not, he's not Rupa Goswami. And uh, pushing through and teaching and preaching more to this world. That's all this line of manjaris. Mm. So, uh, uh, this Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is foremost Rupanuga. The only reason now we're understanding somehow like Rupa Goswami, the of Rupa Goswami is because of Bhaktivinoda Thakur without uh, a bit difficult. Before him came Vishnu Chakra Thakur. Mm -hmm. But then after some time, you know, these things are like hidden. So again, he, Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written himself many things and tried to collect back again. And now, oh, now we understand, uh, we also begin to. Um, um, you know, um, benefit writings of Vishnu Thakur, Rupa Goswami, and all. And of course, Srila Bhaktivedanta Thakur, he's, he himself like written like many songs and, you know. Okay, so, um, as I've said, and I just end with this note, like Srila Gurudev himself, he said, all activities now is like our sadhan, you know. Sadhan meaning, uh, you have a sadhya, you have a goal. Hmm? Now, we want that in Prem, but that is, as of this time, Prem is so high. Hmm? There are stages towards Prem. Now, <clears throat> we're, we're just in the beginning stage. We want to attain first Bhav. Hmm? So our sadhan is to attain Bhav. Bhav means the moods of the eternal associates of Radha and Krishna. Hmm? Understanding like these moods. So, why are we studying this Harinam Chantamani? Why are we doing all these activities that we're doing now? We're singing all these bhajans, we're singing the songs of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, 
we're we're you know we're worshiping deities and everything. Why? Because now we want to absorb like oh the moods that they they have left in in these things. Mm -hmm. We're trying to absorb. So Gurudev said, unless the goal of your activity is to attain bhav, you cannot consider it sadhan. Mm -hmm. So that's why okay, even this very like a class, this is our sadhan. And that's why I said, like, from the very beginning, then oh, we remember Bhaktivedanta Thakur and pray that our heart will be one with Him. And this is the real meaning of Anugatya. Anugatya meaning your one, is, your heart is in like in one line, in that line. You're not independent. You're in the same line. Uh, it's not like uh, every time you have to ask your Guru Dev or the Vaishnav, uh, should I do this? Uh, you say you have to be under guidance. Huh? You have to ask, should I do this or not? That is only for those who have no relationship. Okay, in the beginning you have to ask because you have no relationship, you don't know what is his heart. Mm -hmm. But when now you have this relation, and that's what we pray, we want to have relationship, we want our heart to be the same. At that time, then you know how, how it is, like what is his heart, how to please him, uh, what is his um, desire. Uh, you'll be connected to his desire to please God. Mm -hmm. So then that, that is real Anukatya. Understand? Okay. So, Jai Shri Gurudev ki Jai Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur ki Jai Shri Rupanduga Guru Varga ki Jai Shri Harinam Chintamani ki Jai.